Hi everyone and welcome back to Pike's Plants. Um, if you're new here, I'm Megan. I'm a aeroid lover in Minnesota. I have been a plant lover for the last two years, um, but I've been, I grew up around plants. My mom's a plant fanatic too. Um, but I specifically am into philodendrons, monsteras, hoyas. Um, I kind of stay away from anthuriums and alocasias as they can be pretty picky, um, but maybe someday. I'm 24, I'm a nurse, and I'm definitely an introvert. An introverted nurse, if you've ever heard of one. But I have been a little MIA lately. I have not been um, too stoked to be on social media as I've been just kind of dealing with life lately. And here we are. Even though we've been busy, I have definitely not stopped buying or ordering or um, planning for more plants. This week, I'm going to show you guys the plants that I've acquired, bought, um, been wanting for the last few weeks and kind of why maybe I'm impressed or not impressed by him. There's only like one that I'm not impressed by. So to be fair, um, I kind of knew that it was probably not gonna ship well reading the reviews, but all the plants I did buy and I'll be showing you today are all from Equigenera stores, either the US um, Florida location or the California location, which I 10 out of 10 recommend them both. They ship well, they have amazing prices for the sizes and quality of plants you're getting. Um, I definitely recommend hopping on their live sales they have on Instagram. Um, like last week they had 20% off everything you're buying and then 30% off fresh imports, which all the fresh imports look beautiful. Um, I've never bought a fresh import so I can't speak to how good or how bad they are. <laughs> um, but the prices were good so definitely check that out. Um, and then I'll kind of repot and maybe tell you guys why I am or not repotting. And then, yeah, I'll talk about stupid shit in, in between. Um, yeah, let's go. So before we actually get too crazy, I do just want to say thank you to the Plant Bar Co. for letting me be an ambassador. Um, if you guys want 10% off your next order, you can use the code Megan at checkout. Um, I do use the Leaf Wellness Spray on every plant I um, own and when I receive them, I do give them a spray regardless of a pest or not. Um, this is the Leaf Wellness and then I also use the Dead AF which when I see a pest, I'll treat it with this spray every few days um, and I love it. I swear by it. So the first plant that I want to show you is actually a plant that's right next to me. A philodendron nangaritensi. And it's a plant that caught my eye, once again, on one of their live sales. Um, if you look at the stems of the new petioles, you'll see that they're like red with like, I don't even know how to explain it, like white freckles hair thing. Um, they're just so beautiful. So only $50. For these big huge leaves i kind of want to show you the size of my hand compared to it kind of crazy so i'm gonna repot it the soil i'm not too crazy about it just kind of stays wet i have not watered it since i've gotten it it's still kind of sitting in there moist so it i maybe should have done this a little earlier but yeah there's some rot i can already tell some of these roots right here, you can tell it, they're just like brown when they should be more of like this red right here. Um, so I can tell that a little bit of rot, which is why I'm going to repot. Okay, now I got the goodies secured, the Velcro in the scissors. Um, now I'm going to continue potting this. I'm going to actually put this stake in before I put the soil in just to make sure I don't injure any um, roots by sticking it in later. Got my soil.
I might have to go get more soil before I finish filming this video because I've got quite a few more plants to go and I have plants on the way that I know are gonna need soil. So here we are. So that's plant one. Gave it a nice pool. I don't want to necessarily give it water because it was sitting in that moist soil for so long. Um, I don't think it needs it right now. Um, but that is my philodendron mangrotense. Um, mangrotense, you don't know, but I love it. Uh, I might give it just some leaf on this for once again. I'll wipe those off later. I do, like I said, I do spray them when I, when I get them. Just because I kind of have plants everywhere in my house, so um, isolation and quarantining my plants aren't really a thing around here. My house, like we live in like an 1800 square foot house, but I have the upstairs full of it, full of plants, and it's like a thousand square feet, and I've got plants in every room, so it's impossible to isolate. Next plant, another one that's kind of sitting right here, if you guys have seen it. Um, it's a philodendron model dragon. So this is another one I really wanted for my own collection. It's like a mother plant. I did not pay a lot for it. Um, I think it was 55, but once again, I think I got like 20% off or something. I love it and I've already gotten a new leaf since I got it um, a couple weeks ago and yeah, once again, I think it maybe needs a repot. Yeah, you can see the roots going crazy in there. I think it just maybe wants like a better pot, bigger pot, deeper pot. I don't think this one's too much bigger, so maybe I need to find a bigger one. I also might give this one a bamboo stick as well, just for some support because it doesn't like to stand up without falling over. So let me go get a big old pole. All right, pot secured. Um, same size as the linger tents one. I think it's like a five inch pot. But um, let's take these out and look at the roots. Yeah, I'm glad I'm taking them out. They kind of look like they're just kind of sitting in moisture and like, I don't know, not the best soil as you can see. But once again, it worked, it, they did good. Yeah, I guess the inside maybe doesn't look too bad, but a lot of perlite in there, which helps out with some nutrients and some aeration. Okay guys, so it's very obvious it's the next day. Um, I did end up having to go to the store to get dirt because I had a delivery being made today, a big delivery that I will also show in this YouTube video. I knew I needed dirt for, so I had to go grab a couple bags, but I also grabbed a plant while I was there. So I'll also show you what I got. It's a new kind of plant that I've never bought before, so I don't know how it'll go, but I'll just show you what it looks like now and I'll give you updates. I did end up repotting the plants that um, I was gonna show you guys and repot with you. Um, I just did that all yesterday just so I can spend time showing you guys the plants today. We'll go ahead and do that now. The first plant I'm gonna show you guys that I got and I already have repotted is this philodendron deflexum. I got it on the live sale and I knew what I was buying and I am very happy with it, but you'll see why I like something better and I don't want to spoil it because it's at the end of the video. Um, we'll just say it's the same plant. So I like that one better. I love the like ripples in the leaves as you can see. 
Like, it gives me like Chardonnay. Uh, Chardonnay, I think Philip and Chardonnay vibes, I think that's how you say it. And it just has more of like a lighter green color to it, which I love. Um, this is like a semi-mature plant. You know what? I'm gonna give a spoil. I'm just gonna show you guys my other deflexa. Like I said, Michaela with Queen City Tropicals gave me, or not gave me, I bought cuttings from her that I told her were on my wish list and she said she would be willing to cut. I had this Equigenera one that I got while she was running this one. But look, look at the size comparison. A 10 out of 10. Love the philodendron deflexum. Never, never owned, but I'm proud to say I do now. Another plant that I bought and I had repotted yesterday is this philodendron Another wish list plant that I had reached out to Equigenera and said I wanted this plant and they sent me one and said, is this one work? And I said, yes, it's literally beautiful. Look at the leaf. It's very, very similar to the philodendron deflexum in my opinion. This is like a soft leaf that hasn't even hardened. It's just so beautiful. Um, I just put it in some chunky soil mix. It had some pretty good roots um, and then gave it a bamboo pole for some support. It's beautiful. I can't wait to get it into my greenhouse. It turned out very well for not, you know, it wasn't on their live story sale, so I didn't get to see, like I said, the exact plant, but they did send me a picture, which worked out well and it's beautiful. So. That's the philodendron sharing And then we've got another wishless plant, a philodendron serpents. It's definitely hard to come by in an affordable price range that, you know, isn't just like a seedling. So this one was not super cheap. I think it was $60, um, but for the size of the plant, I was happy to pay it. Look at the like fuzzy stems. I love the fuzzy stems. And then the leaves, not the best leaf to show. Maybe that one. They give me like dragon tail vibes. And then I do have a new growth coming on right here. I did leave this one in the moss it's growing in because I know that um, most of the like furry, not furry, fuzzy stem um, philodendrons like the humidity. It's doing okay. Maybe some browning on the leaves, but like I said, I went through shipment and I'd say it's pretty good. So I told you guys I had to go, like I said, get dirt. I went to Traverse de Sioux in a neighboring city called St. Peter, and this plant caught my eye. Philodendron Xanth, no, it's not a philodendron. It's just a Xanthosoma, I think. I'll attach the name, but it is beautiful. It was $50, and I, you know, I, I asked, I know the girl who works there, Johanna. She's amazing, I love her. And she, and I was like, do you know anything about these plants? And she's like, no, but I know that you know, like this is the one we have and it has given us no problems. So I, I Googled it and it said it was super easy. So I got it for $50. I don't know much about it and I don't know how it'll do. I might kill it in a week for all we know, but from what I've read, they're pretty easy. So I'm very happy with that purchase. And then to end the video, last but not least is another plant that I got from Queen City Tropicals that I love. It is a beautiful plant that I've been wanting that it's just, it's a spendy plant that I knew I'd have to spend a little more on. Michaela made my dreams reality, as cheesy as that sounds. Um, so I'll show you. I wanted a cutting and it is a cutting, but it's a big cutting, a mama plant cutting. She didn't disappoint. Like look at the leaf. The variegation. This is the philodendron giganteum variegated. I paid 
very little for. I won't say the exact price, but it definitely was not. It was less than $100, we'll say that much. Um, and it is beautiful. And she worded it for me, and I'll attach maybe like a little snip of the shipping, but I know Michaela's making a video, so I'll maybe just let her post that and I'll share it. She packaged this up and sent it to me and it, there were no leaf fatalities. I've got a brand new leaf. Like I have no, no complaints about this plant and it's a dream. And I paid a fraction of the price if it were from the store. So amazing plant. I just have her hanging out in the kitchen right now because she's gonna be a plant that's gonna need a dedicated space probably. That is it for this plant haul. Like I said though, 100% recommend Equigenera for shipping, prices, plants, quality, all of it's top notch. Um, and as well as Trevor Stay Sue, as I mentioned them. Um, and for sure, go check out Planty Bar, or sorry, Planty Bar, the Plant Bar Co. Um, and use, make sure you use my code Megan at checkout for 10% off. And we'll see you guys next time. And thank you guys all for watching and dealing with me. And I love you all. Maybe next time we'll see a greenhouse.